Hello, welcome back to Moon Gaming. Gaming on the moon. The transmission got cut after last episode, but none of that matters because I'm still on the moon. Anyway, same drill as last time, but hopefully a different game. Joining us today is someone Hey, what's up? Uh, hold on. I think we have a connection problem. Looks good on my end. What? Okay, I'm disconnecting. Give me a minute. Okay, I think we had a bug or something. I'm trying again. Yo! Uh, hi. So what are we playing today? Uh, zombie... Tr Wait, no, what's going on? Well, you tell me, it's your show. What, well, are you me? Well, come on, that's a difficult question to answer, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Look, don't worry about it, just start the game, all right? But wait, what's going start on? Start the game, okay! So, today's game is Zombie Trailer Park. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I know that one. Wanna introduce it then? Sure. Zombie Trailer Park is a flash game where you play as rednecks defending against the zombie apocalypse. It's a really simplistic strategy game, almost like a tower defense sort of thing. So you wanna start us off? Nope. Okay. All right, so the zombies are coming at me. I guess this is my infantry unit to defend. No, don't do that. What? Don't make shovel guys yet. You should start your economy first. Do you want to do it? All right, fine. So again, this is a strategy game. You build salvage yards to generate income, then you use the money to make various units and other upgrades. The zombies themselves are copied straight out of Left 4 Dead. They have the hunter, witch, tank, this is a pretty simple game, really. I'm surprised they chose this one. Well, you seem to be handling it. Yeah, well, the first levels are easy. The later ones are almost like a puzzle game where you need to figure out the exact build order to survive. Okay, stop. I have to ask. Are you from the future or something? Me? Yeah. Listen, this isn't the first time I've done something like this, all right? Trust me when I say this goes so much better the less you know. You have no idea. Okay. You haven't seen the things I've seen. This is actually a really solid premise. Everybody in the city is long dead, but everyone in the trailer parks here has basically been preparing for this moment. Yeah, in fact, one of the better units you can get are survivalists. They'll mow down almost anything. I'll show you them later. Here we go. Here are the survivalists. They're just a pickup truck, a chain gun, and a dream. A dream of what? Surviving? The noise from them completely overwhelms everything else. What? Nice. Beat it. Yeehaw! You win. You stomp them there, zombies. Okay, level two. A kick in the dead. Rednecks and the zombie apocalypse go together like cake and ice cream. Hey, now there's a question. Why aren't there more games starring rednecks? Yeah. Considering how many actual rednecks there are in the US, they're severely underrepresented in games. Like the most you usually have is one as a side character, never the star. I mean, sure, there's Redneck Rampage, but that was like 20 years ago. Can you name three non-hunting games to star Rednecks in the last decade? Okay. StarCraft 2. Though I don't know if I would call Jim Raynor a Redneck. He's more country than Redneck. He wears a pack of cigarettes in his shirt sleeve. That's close enough. Yeah, okay. Uh... Left for Dead 2. No, that's only a half point. You only have one redneck on a team of four. That's only 25% redneck. Oh, 
And I haven't played it, but that Walking Dead game with Norman Reedus and Michael Rooker, I heard it wasn't very good though. Yeah, that sucks because the plot premise sounded great. Just travel across the countryside, scavenging towns and avoiding zombies, trying to survive. A better game developer should try again with that concept. It's a winner for me. Yeah, I'd play it. Okay, so that's two and a half. Can you give me one more? Ah. Uh, I, I can't think of any others. See, rednecks are an underused asset. They can add a lot. Like you mentioned StarCraft 2. Would that be as good without the rednecks? No, it wouldn't. I mean, look at the sequels. You also get these yeehaw power-ups that build up over time. The best one is the threshing machine. It clears everything and does it slowly, which helps buy you time. Guys, an Earl might into the air force. He gets buy a lot more than you. There's the witch. That always bugged me about Left 4 Dead. Why does this skinny woman take so many shots to bring down? I mean, she's undead. Shouldn't that make her even weaker? Like, I get zombies are supposed to not feel pain and not need their organs to function, but I've never heard of a virus that makes you bullet resistant. We're already suspending our disbelief that the dead could come back to life. Why pile on top of that? I think we're also suspending our disbelief and thinking that all these rednecks with shovels wouldn't also have guns. Got it. This guy looks more hillbilly than redneck. Though it's hard to say when all you're wearing is overalls. He's our salvation. Level three, nothing ventured, nothing brain. <sighs> Warning, contains vi vioenge. Beware the vioenge. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you dream? Well, I don't remember most of mine, but you do dream. Yeah, I had a weird one a few days ago where I was a noodle. Okay, good. Keep it that way. Yeah, this is just a simple Flash game, but I'm seeing a lot of potential here. Games need more rednecks. Hey, you know what movie made good use of rednecks? Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil? Oh, well that one's good too, but no, I was thinking of that Tornado movie, Into the Storm. Yeah, I remember that movie. The movie itself had a pretty throwaway script, but the parts with rednecks were great. They were just the comic relief, but they should have been the heroes. That would have been a much better movie. Yeah, that movie. The action in that was great. The rednecks were great. Everything else about it was worthless. Hey, was it just me or did the school principal in that movie remind you of Obama? Yeah, was there some sort of symbolism to that? Like he was making bad decisions, but the vice principal knew what to do? So was the vice principal supposed to be Joe Biden? That vice principal didn't have half the personality of Joe Biden. Yeah, he was just sort of an overworked, not fun at all dad. Okay, question for the audience. Are all high school vice principals lame? Like at my high school, I'm not sure what the deal was. My vice principal acted like he was former CIA or something. Mr. Peterson. Yeah, actually, you know who he was like? Sort of like a thin, half-Irish version of Mr. Smith from The Matrix. He was a lot like that, except he had sort of a sadistic streak to him, like he always had that creepy smile when trying to bust someone. Thankfully, I didn't run into him that much. Most of the trouble I got into wasn't high enough up on the ladder. He questioned me about some of my friends, though. And junior year. Yeah, Christ, junior year. Okay, in high school, I got detention about once a week as a freshman, about once a month as a sophomore. Junior year, I didn't get into any trouble at all until the very end of the year where they finally discovered something I did back in freshman year. And I got in-school suspension for that. So yeah, my high school vice principal was like Agent Smith from The Matrix, and my principal was sort of like the warden from Shawshank Redemption. The warden on a good day. Final level, Trash Talks, Dead Walks. Hey, you know what game I'm glad we're not playing? What's that? The Swapper. Oh yeah, it's like a platformer? Yeah, you create copies of yourself, then send them to their death. 
It's a terrible game. Okay. So, there's not a whole lot to this game. It's literally a one-dimensional game because you can only influence one axis of movement. <laughs> you need help? <sighs> Leg cramp. Oh. You gonna be okay? Well, why don't you play? Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, we're dead. Ah. Is your leg okay? It feels like I got bit by a dog. What fixes leg cramps? Potassium? Maybe, I don't know. I should eat more bananas or something. Maybe you should stretch more too. Yeah, I don't stretch enough. Yeah, me neither. Okay, we've got this. Don't let up. Don't let up. All right. Yeah. Hey. Woohoo. Well, ain't you tougher than last week's roadkill? You done saved the trailer park. Yeah. And that's Zombie Trailer Park. A good break game to play during lunch, though I see a lot of potential here. I'd love to see a more in depth version of this and just more rednecks in games in general. Um. Ross, do you have any closing thoughts? Yes. Have you encountered the orb? The orb? I didn't see one in the game. Okay, forget it. You don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so that's Moon Gaming. See you next time. No, you won't. You know how I got this scar? Yeah, I think I do. Oh, right.